So I actually made this Magmal Mixer video that was, you know, 30 minutes long about how Nexon flew me up to LA and all that good stuff, right? So I decided to kind of, that, that video is 30 minutes long and I was trying to capture a vibe of like the music I was listening to that would be in the video at the time, what music I was listening to and just kind of kind of like a loose loose movie-esque episode type video but i figured uh since we're two months out from when that happened i could you know give my thoughts and opinions on the megmel mixer as a whole and the experience overall and we can review some of the raw footage and kind of see the journey that we went on from there so first up, obviously waking up and going to the Halifax airport. That was pretty sick. Um, this plane, I never noticed this plane before. Look at this guy. They just got a plane hanging there. And then of course, well, um, I was trying to, to to check my luggage. I had a I had a very random ass NPC encounter. Uh, here, let me just play it back for you guys so you guys can actually hear it. It just started yapping, and we're just trying. I'm just trying to record, and around here, recording yourself, recording the public, in public, is not is not very common. So uh, here, let me play it back for you. And of course, like, I'm just trying to, to record. And when the guy walked up on me, he actually scared me, but I was trying to like keep it calm for the video. But if you listen to this. So this is the next day. Um, I get them pretty late, so I didn't get to meet up with the soul streamers beforehand. Um, so we all met up in the lobby the next morning. There was me, Origin, Origins Fury, um, Fading Jade, Tamara, Firelight, It's a Ronnie is, I think Ronnie, yeah, Ronnie. I, I think that's all of us. Anyways, so this is us hopping in an Uber. Um, pretty cool, Nexon gave us an Uber credit, so that way, you know, we didn't have to spend our own money. So that, that was pretty cool. Um, Essentially, this whole trip was paid for, but I personally decided to stay like an extra two or three days because I wanted to pay for, or I wanted to visit LA a little bit more outside of like our our uh, itinerary. Uh, so yeah, there's 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 me, there's Tamara. Sorry for the unflattering shot, Tamara. Um, it was weird to record in the car and get us all all talking. Um, my little Pikachu tattoo. That normally my watch is supposed to hide and jade and hold on and our uber driver being like what the hell are you doing bro he's like why are you recording me i never noticed that he was eyeballing us i thought he was focused on the road <laughs> so that that's that's kind of fitting honestly so when we get to the next on office it's kind of cool there's like this main area with like obviously all maple story stuff um it's safe to say that Maple Story is the breadwinner in keeping us alive because there is some Mabinogi stuff in the office, but a lot of Maple Story, and I, I voiced that many times. Um, it is what it is. Maple Story is a more popular game, it's to be expected, but it was pretty cool. Um, Maple Story stuff in the lobby. Um, the guy that's kind of in charge of, you know, the Soul Streamers, uh, Dan, super chill, super awesome. Like, honestly, I would not have guessed he was in a position of power that he is because he's so relaxed and did such a great job of, like, guiding us through this whole thing. Anyways, enough glazing. Um, he got his breakfast and we kind of all hung out in this main lobby. We kind of hung out all in this main lobby area. Um, I didn't get too much footage because, you know, it's offices and I didn't want to record anything that was potentially confidential and then get in trouble. So I only get this this funny funny footage of of Jade getting a shot for her video. 
Honestly, it's not that funny. It's just funny that I was a weirdo recording it. Sorry, Jade. <laughs> but another thing I did record is down in like their streaming room and like where they record videos. They have like a bunch of this merch set up. Um, pretty cool. Got the hat, got the bottle. Um, I also got this little pan. I really wanted the book. But we got this book up here instead. Pretty cool that they gave us a swag bag for going. Now, outside of the office, that's all I recorded. But it's super big. Um, super cool. They have, like, a rec area, I'm assuming, for, like, breaks and stuff. And so you can go play ping pong and, and whatnot. Su super casual. An absolute gorgeous office. And, uh, well, I didn't record too much here. We actually did do, like, a little sit down and we all talked. And holy shit, was that intimidating. They have like the high production lights and I was just absolutely getting blasted in the face and I was like at the forefront. Um, like more over here, uh, there's like one more seat I think. And I was there, so it was like camera lights me and I was like, where do I look? Where do I look? So that, that was interesting. And so that was the end of day one. We just went to the office, went and got some food. I shot the video for the YouTube channel and I had a bit of free time in the in the evening so I went and explored LA look at these little robots they're so cool um, and I just kind of went on my own adventure uh, free of Nexon's hold and explored LA uh, it's pretty pretty interesting to, to see all of it and get to explore it there wasn't um, what did I do day one? I did so much while I was in LA, I can't even recall. But anyways, day two, we ended up going to Anime Expo. Um, Mara was feeling sick, so she didn't end up going that day. Uh, me and Jade were up early to meet up with Dan, as he requested, and the other Soul Streamers made it down on time, but they were a little bit, a little bit later than us, and we already called our Uber. Um, so we hopped in and they stuck together and the trend is, I don't know if it's like a Canadian thing, but <laughs> Canadians were always on time and then the Americans were a little delayed. No shade, just love, but, uh, I just thought it was funny. So most of the trip, it was like me and Jade, me, Jade, Tamara, me, Jade, <laughs> and it, it was just, it was funny. And if you guys know, um, there's like this building on the news that everyone's graffitiing, doing graffiti on. But I didn't like that. And uh, we were actually pretty close to it. So I managed to get a little shot of that. That's pretty rad. And here's me and Jade making it into Anime Expo. It's pretty packed, not gonna lie. Very. So this was like relatively early in the morning. A lot of the stuff wasn't open yet. You can already see there's like people just chilling, hanging out, big tuckered. And then, you know, we get to, to browse a little bit inside. Sorry for the shaky camera. Um, fun fact, this guy was asking for badges. At a certain point, there were so many people that he, he just wasn't doing his job anymore. He was gone. <laughs> he said, screw this. I'm out of here. But this was pretty cool. A little gacha corner so that way you could spend buy some coins spend the coins on gacha poles um funny enough jade was actually walking over here to do some pulls and she's like ah, i don't know if i want to do it and i was like bro don't do it we already spend enough money on one gacha and that's mad <laughs> don't don't get hooked on it in real life and then from there we just kept exploring anime expo there's like little cosplay stations like little scenes, so that was cool. Um, and then after that, um, I didn't get video of it, but we ended up, after Anime Expo, we ended up heading to uh, the Megmal Mixer. So after Anime Expo, we all met up, went to the Megmal Mixer. I said screw walking and took a scooter, the Lime Scooters, if you know, you know. Absolutely had a blast lapping everyone on them. So this is like where the mixer was. So it's two levels. There's Hold on. There's like down here And then those stairs there, there's stairs on each side 
um, picture. I'm not photogenic. I'm just, I'm not. And then this is the entrance. So they're security checking your wristband, people coming in. That's Joe. Joe's just funny. Joe's crazy for wearing the sheep costume. It was so hot. I wasn't wearing a costume that was lined and I was sweating. So anyone that cosplay on this day, that's off to you. You did uh, crazy work. I tried to get a shot of like the trend where you drink beer and you have your phone at the bottom so you can like kind of see it. <laughs> and it didn't go well. I ended up spilling it all over the place. And I think Jade was on the other side of me just kind of laughing. And then here's it filling up. Uh, they had snacks going around. Oh yeah, the Yu-Gi-Oh guy. This guy, his cosplay was all Yu-Gi-Oh cards and he made a poo out of it. It was pretty cool. Um, here we had like a little crafting station. I forget what it was. That was pretty cool. Honestly, the mixer turned out way better than I could have imagined. Uh, good old Joe doing his little pan walk. Um, it turned out really good. Everyone's actually really civil. Uh, you know, sometimes people on Mabinogi tend to be keyboard warriors, but anyone that showed up to here absolutely just loved, like, loves the game, and you could really tell. Um, this is the upstairs area that's Celeban. Um, Saint Guard over here that now I am a part of. Shame I wasn't a part of him two months ago. Would have been a lot cooler, I feel like. Um, this guy was also live streaming it in the suit. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> I got so sloshed here. I mean, of course, within the three drinks. Now, Mabby Nerd showed up in a rat costume, right? He's trying to pretend to not be Mabby Nerd. But, come on, there's no way you're going to tell me that this is a Mabby Nerd. From his dancing to, like, his awkwardness, at first I was like, who the hell showed up in a rat costume? It's so hot, they're going to die. And then, like, the cameraman gave it away, too. Like, like dead giveaway. And then I, whenever I get close to him, I was like, hold up. Can you laugh for me? Just, just do a laugh. I just want to hear a laugh. If you can laugh for me, I'll leave you alone. Because he has a very distinctive laugh. So there's that. Um, a better look at this. Great turnout. It's just absolutely gorgeous having this building and the like the <laughs> the backdrop of the building. And at this point, I just want to say I did only have three drinks at the mixer. Um but holy, I, I was drunk. Um, the heat does something to you whenever you're in LA and you're drinking. Just an FYI. And then, you know, we get a message from this guy. I wish I could remember his name. I'm so sorry. But um, Dan told me, and at this point, I was trying to just record for you guys. And like my eyes were like crossing because I drank so much. So I kept switching between like champagne and beer to kind of balance myself out. Um, people say that's not how that works. But to me, to me, it works. For me, it works. And then we had the little, um, I cut this out because there's a lot of feedback. I kind of trimmed and cut it. So Henry and Casket, Jade, a cosplay contest was pretty sick. Like everyone was recording this. We were fighting for it. I don't, props to Jade, I would have had stage fright. Um, honestly, after that, I th think that's kind of, it wraps it up. Like, we had a little, little pre-game hustle, or post-game hustle. At the hotel, I ordered a deep dish pizza, and I ate it on the bed, no shame. It was alright. And then I went to, like, the last bookstore. That was super cool. Oh yeah, I also went and got a got a tattoo, oh, blurry picture. Got a tattoo, blurry picture. I I couldn't record myself getting the tattoo, so there's that. But yeah, overall the trip was really good. Next on was super super chill. Um, they took great care of us. Absolutely loved it. If there was anything else I could change, it is the weather in LA. While it was nice, it was super hot there, right? It was so warm. So warm. 
but overall it was a pretty great experience and uh i would not choose to change it and i don't know what i'm gonna do this video is 20 23 minutes long that 